Let's work on trying color today. We're going to draw a tiger's eye. First, make a line arcing upwards like a rainbow. Then, we'll need to have a U shape under that. Finally, a circle in the middle. Once you have that, we can just add a little outline to the outside of the eye where the dark part of the tiger's eye will go. You'll need a shine in the eye to make it look nice and friendly instead of scary. Let's choose to leave these spaces a little bit white. Now, I'm going to switch to using a marker to color in the area outside of the eye. You don't have to use any special kind of marker. You can use a Sharpie, a Crayola marker, a Copic marker, but all you need is a really dark color like gray or black. Once you have created the dark outline, we need to work on the inside color. The inside color of the eye, I'm going to make yellow and green. I'm going to make the bottom light yellow, the middle yellow green, and the top solid green. Does your tiger's eye have to be green? No. It could be yellow or even purple. But I'm deciding to make mine green. Why do I use three different colors. Well, what I like about using three different colors is that it imitates how light hits the eye. So when light is coming from above, the eye will be darker at the top and lighter at the bottom because the light hits your eyebrow area, which has a bony ridge over the eye. Now, that eye looks pretty cool, but I could do more blending. I could blend it with just the markers, or I can blend it by adding another type of thing. I'm going to add colored pencil. I like to use soft Prismacolor pencils can see here I'm using a color called chartreuse, apple green, and peacock green. If I leave the marker or blend the marker, that's fine. But you 
can also use the colored pencil to blend in the areas between the marker a little bit more smoothly. I like this technique. I think it's really fun. You could use marker, colored pencil, or both. Why am I using soft Prismacolor pencils? Well, soft Prismacolor pencils blend really well. The tips are very soft and waxy. They blend a lot better than a normal colored pencil. A normal colored pencil might be a little bit harder. It might not blend the colors as well together. So I can use these pencils back and forth, back and forth, by adding my light apple green to my even lighter chartreuse. You don't have to have these exact colors, but you can see that now the colors are blending more smoothly than with just the marker. So give it a try. I think you'll have lots of fun experimenting with new ways to use colored pencils and markers. Just remember that once you add on the color, the darker color, you want to go back to the little bit lighter color. And what that does is it makes a nice blended color. Another fun fact that you might not know is when you're coloring with colored pencil, you can actually make a really nice color of black by using two different colors. I'll show you that in a minute. As soon as I finish blending in my colored pencil. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I used a really dark gray for filling in my dark areas, but I want to show you a little trick. If you're using colored pencils or markers, you can use two colors, black and ultramarine blue. If you just use black, the color might look a little flat. It will be dark, but not a rich, beautiful color like we can get by adding blue. You can see I'm using small circular motions to fill in with colored pencil and not just scribbling all over the page. If you use small circular motions, you can get a nice thick colored pencil area with no little gaps. Now using my ultramarine blue, I can add a layer on top of that black using small circular motions. Finally, I'm going to add more black on top. Does that seem kind of weird? It is a little strange. Why add one color, then another, then another? Well, when you're using soft, waxy colored pencils, these colors blend and you can get a really nice, rich, dark, thick color. Do you like how it looks? Give it a try. If you don't like the result, just go back and blend some more. You don't have to worry if it doesn't turn out perfect the first time. Try again. it in a different color maybe. Maybe you could make a whole page of different colored eyes or even from different animals. Could you try not only a tiger's eye but a wolf's eye, a regular cat eye, a dog's eye? Try it out and see how it goes. If you want to cover the white areas at the end, you can use a white colored pencil. 
If you want to add a little shine to the bottom of the eye, you can use that white color pencil also. That's up to you as to how many details you want to add.